Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, hello everyone. How are you today? Now, before I start, may I ask you, did you get enough sleep last night? If so, what is your sleep time? Is it eight hours or more? Or seven to five hours? Maybe four to three hours? Or maybe three hours less, anyone? Now I see there are most of you that answered four until six hours as your sleep time last night. Now, according to nectarsleep.com, the recommended hours of sleep time for adults is seven to nine hours a day. So, do you feel like you are getting enough sleep last night? Hi, my name is Ratri, and I am going to tell you why getting enough sleep is important for our bodies. Now, as you may know, sleep is one of the most important needs in our life besides eating, drinking, and exercising, etc. It is a crucial activity for our body. Psychologically, sleep is defined as a state our bodies enter during which brain wave activity changes. Our nervous system is less reactive to external stimuli. But our sleep is not constant throughout the night. Now, this is uh, what Carl W. Basil said. He is a professor of neurology at Columbia University Medical Center. He said that your brain is actually very active during sleep, doing important things. It's not just resting. And if you don't get sleep, you don't function on a number of levels the way you should. Now, this means that sleeping can improve our brain functions better. There is a study in 2004 involving 48 healthy adults to sleep for six hours or less for two weeks. And what is the result? They can focus easily and it became worse during those two weeks. They became weak and sleep deprived, almost as the same as a person who had been awake for two nights getting no sleep. Now, after hearing that, Surely, we want to improve our sleep time better, right? Now, there are many reasons why getting enough sleep is important, but in this video, I'm just going to tell you two of it. First one, poor sleeping makes us moody. Now, Matthew Walker of University of California Berkeley's Sleep and Neuroimaging Laboratory said that Without sleep, the brain had reverted back to more primitive patterns of activity. And that way it was unstate, unable to put emotional experience into context and produce controlled appropriate reason, response. I'm oh, sorry. Now a study in 2007 has proved this. 23 healthy participants age 18 until 30 years old were assigned either to sleep deprivation group or sleep control group. And as a result, they experience not optimal decision making when they are on work as well as emotional irrationality. Now, second reason, not getting enough sleep can literally makes you sick. Now, did you know that Studies have shown that individuals are more likely to catch a cold virus when you are sleep deprived. Now, there is a study about this. I'm not sure uh, the time, but there are 143 participants, men and women, ages 21 until 45 years old, and the study is done for 14 days. As a result of the 143 participants, 
135 of them were infected. 45 of, the, of them developed a cold defined as infection and objective cold criterion. And 66 of them develop a cold defined as infection and the subjective cold criteria. Now, from this explanation earlier, we can conclude that getting enough sleep is very important for our bodies because we can avoid first sleep deprived, second, unstable emotion and sickness. Thank you for your attention, everyone. I'm sorry if I made a many mistake. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.